Today we're talking full doors, TMW full doors. In this case for the RZR XP4 Turbo, this is a 2017. Um, and why I chose TMW doors, you can see, really good looking set of doors. Um, it is just so cohesive front to back, just two pieces, super straightforward and simple. And what a big improvement over the stock doors. Um, the four seat cars have a lot going on front to back with all the pieces parts for the stock doors. And I thought they cleaned up the whole area just really nicely. I like the line work on their doors and it, and it really boiled down to this back door staying flat and not swooping up. A lot of the doors come up high in the back and I really like the lines on the back doors. I like that the door panels themselves aren't overly aggressive. There's just the right uh, line work amount in the skins. The way the whole door system kind of comes out and bubbles away from the car again, it's, it was just right for me, everything about it. And I did a lot of studying on different door kits out there from all the different manufacturers and there's a lot of quality products so this just really boiled down to aesthetics just purely simple differences between the manufacturers that made me choose TMW. Uh, there's some key features on it too uh, something I think just particular to TMW and that would be their um, the way the doors are hinged and actually come off the hinge pins so at full open you can pop the doors off <coughs> leave them in camp if it's super hot and you guys are doing really slow trail rides um, that's a nice option also for cleaning and washing things. It might be easier to have these off. Um, we do have TMW's door bags coming to complete these. Uh, unfortunately, didn't make it for today's video, but I'll do an update on that when the door uh, bags get here and I get them installed. Basically, it should have a generous knee bag or a knee pad portion up front and a nice pocket here, and that's going to be <clears throat> all four doors front and back. Obviously, these, these feel a lot more stout. So I think that as far as uh, you know, making passengers and people feel a little bit safer inside uh, the Razor while we're out in glams and stuff like that, I think that's going to be beneficial. People will feel a little bit more uh, tucked in their seats and a little, uh, little less vulnerable. So especially with that triangle thing gone, you can kind of just slide in without nailing stuff. So it opens up this whole area for passengers to get in and out of. Look at the overlap of the panels down below again versus where the stock doors sit inside of this whole opening. These come all the way down and overlap all of this stuff. So uh, as far as in intrusion for debris and water and other, other things coming in from these angles, it's pretty much uh, impossible for that stuff to get to. So, uh, they shut, close, super solid. There's zero play. They don't rattle, shake, or anything. I mean, we'll get to know a little bit more when we're out riding. But they are just solid, man. They shut like a car door. Um, and again, they look great. It's a lot of black. So it's a, little, it's a little crazy to look at all this black. Obviously the stock doors did have the stock decals and graphics going through, which helped everything tie together a little bit. But uh, part of the reason for doing this is to get the car wrapped. Um, and, it's, and it's too hard to get a wrap job done on the stock doors and the lower door halves that I did. So this will lend itself a lot better to uh, maybe a channel logo, something cool in the future. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll get some color put on this and, and get it wrapped or painted to match everything else as projects move forward. And they're going to look great. So if you guys like TMW doors and you'd be looking for an install video, I found it really difficult to find any kind of install related stuff online for this door kit. Stick around. We're going to go ahead and show you how to get these installed. All right, we got everything laid out. You got four door skins, four door frames. You got your two center pillar pieces. They're going to replace where the plastic is right now between the front and back doors. These look like they're going to attach to the door frames and these are going to act as the hinge pins to let them swing. I'm guessing. And then these brackets for the back, which are going to eliminate that back triangle piece. Uh, all together for the door and latch slammer kit to go on. And again, bag of nuts and bolts, padded tape. So now we're going to start by go ahead and we're going to take off the uh, stock doors. We're going to remove the stock doors, center piece, rear triangle piece. Oh, another one. Hey. One door gone. Pick everything up later. Yeah, you have room because it's all over the place. So we're just removing the stock uh, door latch for the rear. So there that goes. I think we'll go ahead and remove this rear triangle piece. Learn 
as we go. Like that. That's off. So now everything's off. I think all the components that need to be removed are. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start installing the new frame um, or the new latch points for the doors, center piece and the back piece. Get the door frames on. All right, so starting at the rear, they supply this, uh, this new bracket that replaces the triangular piece that was here for the stock door. So it's gonna reuse this, the stock mounting hardware for the cage at the top, and they supply a new bolt and nut for the bottom. So you have the center bracket mount for both doors. This is what's gonna go right here. We found it a little bit easier to uh, put the door hinge mechanism on first. So it's gonna be flat side to flat side. And there's these big square rectangular slots that allow you to move everything back and forth. So you don't wanna get it really tight. Um, they supply these little square head bolts that obviously go on this side. And we just kinda of got those set up and uh, loosely and then went ahead and hung this on the frame. So you have two large bolts, the biggest bolts in the kit, biggest washers. Those are gonna uh, mount or attach the, uh, the main pillar here piece in the middle to the frame. So you're gonna washer at the top. that and then a washer underneath and one of the nylon locking nuts underneath as well each one obviously and again you're just going to get these finger tight um, at the moment because there's two more bolts on the back side of this that are going to snug it to the frame you don't you want it to be able to move a little bit you have two more back where the uh, stock door latch used to be the latch will end up back here, so in this spot, you're just going to use two of these supplied bolts, nuts, and washers, um, top and bottom, so you're going to do a washer. These were a little bit tricky to line up on the other side. They're a little bit angled. I don't know if that's the cage or if that was the mount from TMW, but they're not perfect. Um, we got it to work. They're a little bit angled, and then as you start to tighten it down, it'll bring this glass and start to so, close it. So I get back up to where we wanted it. This side's a little better than the other side was. Um, so we went ahead and did that other side complete, so that way we could go through this a little bit smoother for you guys without having to figure it out. These ones we got pretty tight. Firm these ones all the way up and then went ahead and tightened these guys down. Start to spread the load here evenly. Because again, these weren't a perfect matchup, so it's it's bringing these two pieces closer, so I'm gonna kind of do them together so it's not putting all the stress on one of them. Um, we can go ahead and tighten these ones completely, and that'll leave us last with where the doors actually hang because we're gonna move that around as we put the door frames up. Um, probably snug these down a little bit more, get the frames hung, and then we'll start moving stuff around. Pretty close to the top. Pretty close to the top. So we're just going to kind of eyeball this for now, kind of lift it up off the bottom because it does hit this bottom plastic body panel. So we're just going to slide it up kind of to where we think it might be. And just get them snugged a little bit because you will be moving this around quite a bit like we found out on the other side. You're going you're gonna to slide it forwards and backwards so you get the latches close and you're gonna move the latches around so and you don't have to get these real tight. So before we get the frames hung, there's some nylon washers that they supply for the top of the hinge pins. You're gonna drop a nylon washer on it. Nylon washers, this little bag of white washers right here. One per pin. Just push those down. Drop them on the floor, <laughs> take them back up. 
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and hang the door frames. You're just gonna line these up. And then push them, or gently push them down. So, like so. So it's not gonna line up right now perfectly, but that's the first part. We're gonna go ahead and put the back frame on. You got the same situation. There's nice big slots on the back side, makes it easy to kind of just eyeball it. You're going to feel it line up eventually, and then you can drop it down. So now that these are on and everything's moving, we're going to go ahead and put the, you're going to remove the stock door handles and latches from your stock doors, and we're going to mount these up and get them kind of semi-lined up with the latch strikes, and then we'll start to wiggle things around and start to firm stuff up. So the latch striker, the striker that goes on this back side here, this is actually from the driver's side. So per the instructions, you're going to use opposite sides. You're going to switch these. So they used to be up in the front because the doors open the opposite direction. You're going to take that side, driver's side, put it on the back of the passenger side, vice versa. So we're going to go ahead and just mount this up, kind of find the direction it goes. You'll see that it lines up with the cut. And again, they supply nuts and bolts for this as well. You can, uh, don't tighten these down too much. You're gonna, you can just feel this line and you're looking to get it pretty close to flush with both sides. It's worked out worked for the other side. Exactly. Exactly. So the handles, um, the latch door latch system, you're gonna put the plate against the back side and you're gonna use the stock little Allen key nuts from the stock doors there's a little you know welded on um, nut on the back side so this as far as i could see we were reusing stock hardware and again you just want to get this loosened up they give you these big slots to adjust this thing back and forth depending on how it's going to line up once you go to try it out all right so that's latched that just helps keep us kind of where we think we're going to end up. And then we can go ahead and put on the front door hardware now. So loose. So now that everything's on and the doors are shut, again, this is super loose in the middle. You got to play with it to get the tops of the doors lined up where you want, get the latch to lock properly, hit the body work in the right manner. So you're gonna kinda just move things around ever so slightly and then you'll be able to snug these two up once you get it where you want it. And then we'll finish out by putting the door skins on it. So after moving stuff back and forth, we pretty much got the latches where we wanted them, we snugged them up. The doors are pretty much, again, front to back where we want them this direction because this whole thing moves left, right, up and down. So now that we, before we get finished or before we complete it we're going to snug up these middle bolts otherwise it won't stay in place obviously so you want to snug these down pretty much all the way at this point so you've got a billion of little button head bolts and nuts back here oh yeah Everything's done. We just got the door skins finished up. And the last thing would be these little TMW engraved end caps for the tubes. So they're just going to most likely pop right into place like that. So there's one for each corner. We're just going to get those plugged in. <laughs> works every time. 60% of the time, it works every time. 60% of the time, all the time. <laughs> uh, 
So they do provide in the box this uh, padded tape. So if you read the one page instructions I found online, uh, it, it reads that you're supposed to put this along the body where the door makes contact. Um, we're gonna skip this because honestly, everything's really snug. No plant whatsoever when the doors are shut. Uh, I'm not really worried about it rubbing the body while we're driving around. It would be case by case if you install the doors and you got a little rattle and jiggle and you want to get rid of that, it will come with this so you'd be able to pad that out. But uh, that's it for the install. Uh -huh. They feel good, they look good. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the install, please think about liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Get a lot of cool stuff happening with this. Uh, check out the link uh, in the description below. I did buy these from Vivid Racing. Um, VividRacing.com sells pretty much almost anything you can think of for your uh, UTV or side-by-side. And currently, right now, we're not running a promo on these doors. We do have a promotion with Vivid on agency power products. So that would be exhaust, blow-off valves, bolt-on power mods, um, also Vivid Racing's tuning uh, for your ECU for more horsepower. You can take 10% off of that stuff. So VR Tunes, agency power bolt-on products, 10% off the code is TORAC10, T-O-R-A-C-10. Um, now, the, the code isn't valid for the other stuff on Vivid Racing. But feel free to hit those guys up. They're really good to work with. You can even ask for Ryan in the UTV parts department. A really knowledgeable guy. He actually walked me through some other stuff that will be coming for this build. Really nice people. So again, check out the link. VividRacing.com uh, is where I got these Team W doors. So love them. Um, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.